So here's how to make a website on Canva for free. If you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to do that. Or if you simply already have a Canva profile, you can use that for easier login access. Let's begin. So once you are logged in and in the dashboard section, what you wanna do is click on templates right here. This is where I am. From then, what we wanna do is simply type in website and click on enter. Okay, so there's gonna be just about 3,600 templates that we can look for. However, based upon the website that you wanna create, there you want probably a little bit more specificity overall. So let's click on all filters right here. Now this is gonna greatly depend on what you're looking for. For me, I love the minimal and clean look. There's also gonna be themes too, say if you just want a one pager, if you want something business related, you know, grades and subjects and so on and so forth. But for me, I'm just gonna go with minimal right here because I like those types of websites. And then I'm gonna click on apply. So ultimately, you're gonna be doing the same thing based upon your taste and what you're looking to create. Ideally, I just wanna give you a blueprint for going step by step. So regardless of which type of website you can create, you can edit around like all the most important things. So ideally, what you're gonna do is go through and look for something you might wanna use. If you see a crown here, that means it's gonna be for the Canva Pro. Anything without that means you can just use it and freely edit it, kinda of like this one. Another little tip too, if you hover over it, it's gonna showcase what it looks like overall. And I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit more. Uh, something like this looks very simple and straightforward. There's the about me, experience and education, skills and performance. I'm gonna go with this one, okay? So another tip here, once you click on one you like, you're gonna see that there's gonna be more like this. So this is another great way to find more templates. You can also scroll down right here to see all of it that it's going to be, what it's gonna be looking like overall. And just because it says graphic design doesn't mean you can't use it. You can always just change this around and talk about maybe client work you've done or testimonials or a portfolio or anything say online marketing related. And these are gonna be the ones that can be kind of similar. So if you wanna find that one that's maybe a little bit better, you can do that as well. But let's go with the one we have here and let's click on customize this template. All right, so let's start from the top and go down bottom. You can see as you hover over a specific section, if there's ever a section you didn't wanna use, you can click on it and just simply do delete, which will make your life a whole lot easier. So this will be easy to kind of change. We can put a picture here, a picture of ourselves, what we do, our main call to action, uh, about us, what we do here, experience, once again, very editable. Overall, your skills rating, and every time I see something like this, I think of the game Madden. I don't know if you play video games, but when I was young, it used to be like, you know, uh, speed or like ability to tackle, like, and one was all the way down, one was higher. It's funny how you can do that for yourself. Uh, sample work, looks like some testimonials and reaching out. So a very straightforward website. I like this one. Let's go from the top bottom. So we want to change around our image so we can click right here. We don't actually don't need to, but this is going to be what we want to change. Let's go to our uploads. All right, and if you haven't uploaded a picture yet, you can simply click right here and it's gonna do it for you. I have some folders, so I have some pictures of me already, so I'm gonna use one right here. Let's go with this one right here. I'm gonna click on it. Now what I can do is just drag it right in and it's gonna fit ever so nicely. So if you ever drag and drop a image in there and it like cuts off the top part of your head, have no fear. You can click on your image and click this right here and this is gonna be the crop. So this can move up and down, not left and right on this one, but you know, depending on how you want it to look, probably something like that, just to make it better. It didn't really come up here, but it might when you do it in your specific image, okay? So let's put our name, let's double tap. Okay, Multimedia Arts. Once again, let's just do digital marketing. And for the main goal here is gonna to be to reach out. You know, what that might be for, maybe someone wants to get coaching and consulting, they wanna purchase a product, they wanna work with you, whatever it's going to be, obviously the website is gonna be highly dependent on what your niche is, what your subject and topic is, and so on and so forth. So um, let's talk about reaching out right here. If you wanna change this, let's see, let's click on the actual button right here. I'm gonna do ungroup. I think it's just gonna make everything easier. So if we click on the button, and then we go to the three dots right here, we can go to link. So as you can see, there's gonna be a section where we can go to any of our websites if needed. So we have pages in the document, uh, if you wanna do more like this. So it can actually link to a specific section. So if we wanna to go to section seven, we can certainly do that and we can do done. So when they click on it, it's gonna go all the way down here where it says reach out, okay? There's another way of doing this. That's why I wanna show you multiple ways. So I'm gonna click on the button once again. Let's click on the three dots and let's go to edit link. Now, if you want to, you can actually just delete this and you can do HTTPS. 
All right, and just a little tip here, don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty of traffic already, but ideally that's where the link would go. I'm just kind of showing you that. I do want to delete this and I am going to go with like the pages in the document. I think that's going to work best. So that's going to be the two ways about how you can actually create links on buttons. So if you want to do it where it goes to a specific page, you can certainly do that. And if you want it to actually link to something else, you can do that as well, okay? About me, once again, so let's replace this image. I'm going to go back to my uploads. There I am. So I'm just gonna do one very quickly. I will do uh, this one and let's do this. And once again, if you need to crop it, here we are just a little bit lower. Um, and you know, I don't think I need to go through this, you know, talk about how awesome you are. Okay, your accolades, what you've done. Uh, that's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. Let's go down here with experience and education. So for this one, I can say something like 2012, started digital marketing, okay? And then this is gonna be, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you're gonna enter in more dates, more years, and so on and so forth with your experience in um, education and so on and so forth. Now, you might be wondering, well, what if I have a Santa Claus wish list worth of accolades and experience? No problem whatsoever. What you can do is go like this, and you can make it much bigger, you can make it much longer, and what you can do is go right here. Let's, let's, let's click on that. I'm gonna do Control C and control V. And as you're gonna see, it's going to just duplicate it. And it's nice when you move it around because you can see that it's gonna be the same like width and dimension. So if you have many more to add, I'm gonna do paste again, control V for me, and we're gonna put it right there and move it, let's see, something like that, right? So that's gonna be how you can actually extend the page. I wanted to showcase that in case it came up. So let's say that was gonna be how we set it up and we can move it back like that. And now it's gonna be perfect, okay? We have our skills here. So once again, if you want to just change this around, this can be resilience, okay? We can click here, let's double click actually, and you can see the percentage, you can go all the way up, which I think is kind of cool. It's a progress bar. So I do think it's kind of funny how you're like kind of rating yourself. You know what I mean? Like, are you gonna do communication for this? Like double click and be like, yeah, like I've got a two year old, I can barely, you know, get back to anyone else. So I'm gonna put my communication at a five. You know what I mean? It's like. Uh, I, I don't know. I just think it's kind of funny how like you can rate yourself on your own skills. Usually other people do that. You know, it's more, it carries more weight when other people say like, yeah, he's very resilient. He gets his, he's a man of his word. He gets his stuff done on time. But uh, this is me kind of being silly. Uh, pretty easy to do, right? If you want to change this around, you can just go like this, problem solving, boom, and double clicking on this to obviously change it around. Once again, if you wanted to like copy this, you can click on it, control C, control V, we can move everything down again. <clears throat> so let's move this down here. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna copy it, Control C and Control V. If you have an Apple computer, I believe there's a different short code for it. I wonder if there's file, if there's like it shows copy uh, editing. No, okay, so whatever copy and paste is for you, if you're not, if you're on an Apple computer, that's gonna be what it is. But I just wanted to show you that once again. Let's drag this back up so there's not as much work and not as much work. I was reading this, not as much space. So this is gonna be the same thing. If you have sample work you wanna drop in, I'm gonna go back to my images. Here we are. I'm just gonna use myself as an example here. So I'm gonna drag and drop, well, too big there. Let's drag it in there, okay? You would do the same thing there. So uh, any image, whether it's going to be a logo, whether it's gonna be work you've done, you know, an achievement, a milestone, clients, anything like that could also be testimonials. We do have that on the next section. But even if, say, you have a website and you don't wanna showcase any work, just go like that. You can just delete it, okay? And there is an undo button in case you're like, wait, maybe I did want that, but I don't have anything specific for this example. Plus it is very easy to edit. So for those reasons, I'm just gonna click on delete. Okay, once again, we know how to add in pictures. These are gonna be testimonials where you can click here. You are simply the best. Better than anyone. Was that a, not Tina Turner. I forgot who it was, anyway. That would be a testimonial, <laughs> another testimonial. And now at the end, you can simply click here and do say like James at marketingisle.com. That would be where you can reach out. This is not my name, but obviously we're changing it. And let's add one more image down here. Just obviously, if we're gonna be reaching out, we're probably not gonna be looking at glasses, pens, and a desktop.
Okay, there I am, and there I go. Okay, actually, I don't like that one as much with the, the PNG background, so let's go back to James, and I'll do something like this, and we'll do this. I think that looks better. Speaking of that, if you wanna change the color, let's talk about that very quickly, and then I'll go with the social media aspect. Let's click right here, and we just simply go to the colors. I am horrible when it comes to choosing colors and backgrounds. Uh, normally, I would go with something more tropical to kind of match my vibe here, but I am not a pro at this. That's why it's good to always find a template where you think the colors are decent and you can always change them around a little. So if I was to change this around a little, like that's not too bad overall. Um, a little too funky, like maybe too bright. Uh, that one's not bad as well. I guess it depends on what the text is gonna be, but that's how you can change it if needed. There's also a change all section if you wanna do that, but I think one there is gonna be fine. So if you wanna click on this, we can also edit these as well. Let's do ungroup. And depending on what you have, I am not a fan of Twitter. I would easily delete that. Let's just say you wanna put like Facebook and LinkedIn. We can drag and drop this one right next to it, a little closer. And if we wanna edit this, it's gonna be the same way with say going about adding a link. So we can click on it right here. We can do our link. And this is gonna be, let's see, HTTPS. And it would be your Instagram account.com, you know, slash whatever it is going to be. And you can do done. Okay. So that's going to be where that Instagram one goes. You're going to be doing the same thing for Facebook or YouTube or wherever it's going to be. But as you can see, it is a very straightforward process. I know the colors are going to be a little bit off. Like this is vibrant. It's more purple, blue, green. And then we have some light brown. I'm not saying that's going to be a good choice. I just wanted to show you how you can change the background because that's probably going to come up. So now that we've done that, let's take a look and preview it, okay? So let's click on preview right here. There I am, so that's gonna be reaching out. You can resize on mobile, include navigation menu. We don't need to do that for this one. About me, talk about how awesome you are. Talk about what you've done for your experience. We also showed how you can actually drag that down and add more if needed. Uh, skills, apparently we're great with resilience, but horrible on communication. It's just the way it works sometimes. Simply the best, okay? Uh, and then going on, reaching out. This is where they can go ahead and do that. Let's actually click on reach out right here. And there we go, down we go. So that looks great. Let's click on close. A very simple website, and I'd probably stick to like the color scheme once again. Uh, brown with that whole thing down there isn't great, but that was just for showing you how it's done. Let's click on publish website. And if we wanna change this around, we can just do something like, just like cans, right? Part of my name, let's do that. There's gonna be some settings here. So search engine visibility. If you wanna do that, feel free to. I don't think you're gonna be picking up on any organic traffic for huge keywords anytime soon. Uh, resize on mobile, that's fine. We have pages right here, a name like that. Let's go back to settings. Did you change on me? I think you did, okay? Let's do publish. And yay, we've got fireworks and confetti and everything nice. It's a party. It's a fiesta. Let's view our website and see what we got. All right, so there I am. There's my name. Your site is probably going to be a little bit different if you used a template, but kind of showcasing what we did there about you, your experience, your skills. Uh, you're simply the best. And of course, reaching out. I've said that so many times. And of course, clicking on the button will take us down below as we saw previously. And there we go. So that is going to conclude this tutorial about how you can create a free website using Canva step by step. I hope it helped you out. And of course, if you got any value out of this, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And maybe if you were just following along and you want to see and actually put this into the test, you can click the link down below any description of the pinned comment to get started with Canva for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.